Hi guys, it's me, uh, Robert. What I'm going to do is go over a few other things to help you guys um, that are interested in wondering some other things. One thing I do too is like what I'll do with my leftover transfers is after I use them, I put them in boxes. And like for instance, right now I need to find a one of the old transfers if I still have it. It's been a long time since I used that. So it might be in here, it might not. I've got a few boxes. But another thing to grow your business, and a lot of people ask other ways to make money or how you can expand your business. The shirt that you've seen in the last video that I've got like up here and on this screen, that Jeep one. What it is is I actually manage and run our one of our local Jeep clubs website things. So what I do is we print for some of the other people in the organization. And what it is is the group decided that they want to get some merchandise made up. So I made it for them a few times. We do all their stickers and all that. Well, then it came to the point where they want to do a website. And with the website thing, a lot of people that screen print, um, some people get a little nervous about it or they don't want to mess with that stuff or they just make one for their own website. Well, here's what I did and here's what I've always done is don't be afraid to try something new or learn something. But the thing with the website, if you're going to build your own website, don't just buy the domain thing like um, you got like HostGator uh, GoDaddy, which is one I would never use, but um, you can get your domains from cheapnames.com. Uh, there's a bunch of places that host Papa is another one that hosts some of my stuff. There's a bunch of places where you can buy domains and have it host hosted for you. Well, a lot of the packages on like the second tier on the web hosting. You get unlimited web hosting. So as long as you own the do domain, you can host other ones on there. So what I did is I've got my websites hosted on mine. And what it was is when the, the Jeep Club came along where they wanted to have other merchandise and all that, I said, yeah, I'll let you guys host it under mine for free to help the club out so that they're not out of any money paying it. And I said, in exchange, let me do all your printing and merchandising. So what we do is we actually traded a website for them and what they do is literally it's got all their Jeep stuff, all the merchandise that we sell, stickers, shirts. And what it is is they anyone can go on there and buy any of the merchandise. So what it does, it creates extra income for you. So if you're comfortable enough to make your own or if, even if you're nervous starting out, um, a good way to start and do websites too is through WordPress and WooCommerce. Um, you can use like Big Cartel and all them. A lot of them, the amount you pay, as long as you're willing to put a little effort in and a little learning, you can build a website with WordPress and WooCommerce and pretty much get everything you need and it costs you little to nothing. Um, I have probably co close to 20 websites that are hosted under my server that I have. And then I host ones for numerous other people also. And what I do is I charge them also because... We'll create it and put their merchandise on it for them or we'll help upkeep it. But the plus side when you do that, especially if you're printing their merchandise, like we'll do something. Oh, that one's stuck. Uh, Sorry, I don't get any good ones sitting around to show you just the image, but what we'll do is here's one, a good example. What I'll do is I have the screens. And what we do is we just save them, put them aside. And when an order comes in, pull it out and print it, whatever they need. Like we've got a selection on there. Once this video is done, I'll actually go to my computer and pull up the website just to get you an idea. But what it is, is we set the screen aside. 
And a few things you could do also, you could take, if you want to just try it, on like, for instance, this one. This is a shirt we printed. Normally you would lay it flat like this on the glass and so it burns your screen. Well, if you flip it, it's backwards. So what you can do is you can flip them and burn the image backwards and actually make a transfer. So you can actually make your own transfers if you want to do it that way. If you do transfers and all you do is pull them out and heat press them as you need them. Um, not everyone wants to do that or not everyone feels comfortable making transfers and wants to buy all the powder and all that. So if you don't, what we do is we burn a screen, set them aside for the jobs that we're going to have. And normally when we first start it, we make sure that the order like 15, 20 shirts, whatever, on the first initial order. And then after that, we fulfill the order. So what we'll do is we'll get the order in from online. We'll order the color, order the shirt, and print the shirt one off for them. And you charge a premium. But the, the nice thing is, is it's free money coming in. It's something simple to do. It's not hard to do. Most people, if you have the time and willing to learn, you can create your own website fairly easy. Um, there's so many people online that have YouTube videos that actually show you how to do a WooCommerce. And literally within an hour or three hours tops, you can make your own website, WooCommerce store, and have pretty much where people can order online and place orders so what, what we did is we actually created it modified it got their account thing so the money goes in an account also so they can see how much they're making on their shirts and we keep a percentage of the pretty much a huge percentage of the profits and the, the money goes back to the club but like you can do that with anybody so like if you've got a customer that wants to do big orders and you don't mind what you do is you upcharge them so you can tell them, hey, we'll give you your own private brand, and here's what we'll do. We'll create the website, we'll charge you a set fee, we'll host it for you, and we'll fulfill it. So what I do also, too, is we'll do drop shipping for people. So when we do that, we use a few online places to do our shipping. We don't pay regular shipping price. There's a lot of them out there that you can get discounts on your shipping. And what I do is I use that, but what it is is like, let's say I was printing for Juan. When the order came in, I would just attach Juan's name, Juan's return address, all the information for that, and put it in there and drop ship it for him. So by doing that, you can fulfill orders for them, and someone thinks that company's got all this stuff in a warehouse and doing good, and they don't have anything at all sitting there. You're, you're fulfilling it. You're doing the orders. So it expands your business and helps you some. You also you can do maintenance fee for them and charge them to host the website if you feel good, if you're making enough money on it. Um, the other thing too is like some of it, we do have some customers that literally we don't, we don't charge them a fee on it. And some people's like, well, that's stupid not to charge. What it is is the amount of business we get from that is worth it in the end. Like in, just like I was talking about the Jeep one, here's another Jeep shirt that we printed. Um, bad decisions make the best stories. Um, one of the members actually rolled the rolled the Jeep. So like later we made a shirt and you sell a lot more just because of that. And then you with the, being online you get other people outside of that area that might be into whatever that that site is that you created. So you're getting new customers that you did nothing for and depending on the deal you have like some of the other sites we'll do an agreement where we're allowed to link our stuff to it. So what it is, is by doing that, we're getting free advertisement. So if it was like a, uh, a concert event coming up for like a church or a band, and you say, hey, we'll help you build the website, we'll post it up there, let me put my, my name on it, and let us print the event shirts for you. And what happens is you're getting people to see that, that you didn't pay anything for, and then the other nice thing too is if you're doing like e mass mailing, emailing doesn't really help the best, but you do get people and it does get a lot more of their information. So if you want to even mail things to people, uh, believe it or not, people still use the mail. Um, but when you fulfill all their contacts, you have all their contact information. Um, so you have people's... Uh, sorry about that. I found the one I was looking for. 
you have people's email address, you have their phone, phone address on a lot of, you have their home address. And the nice thing about having all that information is when it comes down to it, is you can do mass emails and mass marketing with that and it costs you nothing because literally it's already saved there anyways you did nothing for it um and it's something like i said it's not not that big but like on some of the orders we do for these customers they might have thousand orders so you've got a thousand different people that you've got their information that you helped out them get it so and they can help you because they seen your information your product they seen you printing so it expands your business and it costs, costs you little to nothing. Um, the other thing too about the websites, you can literally, domain services, like for instance, the other day was Leap Year. Um, a lot of them ran deals on it for literally, you got one year for three years. And so like you could get hosting for literally like $9, $10 a month. And some of that was like, depending how long you signed, one year, two year, three year, five year deals, so literally you're looking at, if you're hosting your own, you're looking at like $100 a year to 120, whatever, could be a little more depending on what service you go with. Um, shop around, find what you like, find what it's got, good uptime and down, not no downtime, but good uptime and good customer service. Um, the other thing too, you can buy domains, like I, I named a few, um, cheapdomains.com is a really good one. Um, but even on that, it costs you a domain, a domain is like, on sale i mean some of these people give you half off coupons so technically you can get a domain for like literally a few dollars when you got to renew a domain it's usually about eight to ten dollars a year but literally just for that little bit of investment you can expand a lot because everyone uses the internet um you're on line right now using the internet watching videos so by using the internet and creating a website for yourself for one you can market your own merchandise they have woocommerce too on some of the plugins that you can literally have them do the design shirts. So you're not, and you don't have to buy the high dollar ones that are out there. Um, they have services out there, but a lot of them, you can get a plugin for as little as $50 that will let you, a customer create their own shirt as, as they pull it up and print it. And it's yours, you own it. You don't have to pay monthly fee. You don't have to pay uh, service for them. Um, they do take a little bit more knowledge to learn, but it's stuff that you can find online. You can pick it up and learn. And the thing with it, like I was saying too, we created these other websites, just a bunch of different ones, but it helps too. Like we did a, a mass market thing recently, like when there's something big that happens and it's a promotion thing or it's like a big saying or something, you can create a shirt, like really literally, like let me just find one. Um, Trying to find one that I don't <laughs> don't want to. Or like here's an example, like a patriotic one, Fourth of July. You could do something like a military theme shirt. And literally put it out there and people buy that stuff. So like on this one, what it was is we did a military theme and then we actually put the company's name in the middle. And we changed it in different colors. Um, so that's why it was cut out of this paper. Originally it was one solid color. But literally like if there was something coming up like the 4th, uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. And let's say you had something for a local event like a St. Patrick's Day run. You could create a shirt for that and push it on the, the website and then like literally it costs you nothing because you don't have to make the shirts till the orders come in. And that's what we do with like a lot of these other ones like the, the Jeep one you've seen in the other video is we don't print it till the order comes in. So what you can do is you can do a mock-up online, simulate it so it looks real. There's a lot of sites that you can actually pay to have it done and it looks identical to real one. Or you can just manipulate it yourself or do a, a mock-up. But what you do is you create it and do the mock-up simulation. And the other ones I'll show you, the, and the Jeep, when these are all simulated, we didn't actually print none of them until the orders came in. But what it is, is we simulated it so it looked real, or some of them look just, you could tell it's not real, but 
we did the mock-up, put them on the website. So when the events come around, people can look and say, okay, look, I want to buy a shirt and you're not out stuck. Like for instance, these boxes over here and the one over there on the floor is for an order, but you're not stuck with boxes of shirts that you got to print. And if you're doing the event yourself, you might get stuck with all them shirts. If you print pretty much on demand, you're only stuck depending on how you order. And if depending what orders you go with, like you could go with like a Gildan that you could get at uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's and use their discount coupon. You're going to pay a little bit more, but you could get a shirt for around two, three dollars from there. But if you're charging like 15, 20 dollars for these these shirts, you got a nice markup, so you can afford to just go drive over there, and you're not paying even your wholesale fee. Or you can just wait until you get a bunch and order on your wholesale thing, and pay less than two dollars a shirt. But what I'm saying is like literally you don't have to have the shirts right then. So you just, you get them in as you need them. You print them and you ship them out. And it's extra money and it doesn't take much to do that. It just takes a little time, a little effort to learn the website stuff. And literally just creating design, finding the people, finding the markets and finding the people that will help your company help you. Because the other thing too, like if you use stickers, you can post stickers on that stuff and people buy stickers all the time. So you can do event stickers you can do your local high school stickers and you can post it on there so that you only have to cut them when they need them but they have a place that they can go look because your shops only open the set hours the websites open 24 hours a day so by that people can look any hour of the day or night and go on there and order and you don't even have to be awake and you can make money and unlike stuff like amazon that you have to send the things to or do affiliate programs that, that get tied in with them or even like Amazon, eBay, uh, Etsy, where you, you have to pay listing fees or pay when they sell. When you do it on your own website, it doesn't cost you nothing. It's just your time, it costs your initial investment of the website, but after that, it, there's nothing. So you're not out giving someone a percentage of it every time you do a sale, it's all yours. So you can factor your prices in or you can adjust it out. Um, but what we do is we do stuff like that. Um, and this is just another way, and I'll go over some other videos on this also. I know this one's kind of long and Probably most of you aren't hung around this long anyways, but if you did, I'm getting ready to show you the website. And this is one we threw together, threw together really quick. And we just keep updating what we're adding on it. So like when we discontinue a shirt, we pull it off and then we put some new items on there, whatever we're changing, color options and all that stuff. But we do it that way. And like I said, this is just one of the ones that we do. And like I said, some of them we charge the customer. This one, we don't charge for the, the service of that, but we were doing all the printing and we get a huge majority of the income on the items. So it's another simple way to do that. And you can do it with your own. You don't have to find these groups. You could create your own item and create your own store, but it helps out. Like if you've got a big group or a club in the area and they're doing a lot of things, but they don't have someone doing the merchandise or they want merchandise, but they don't want to have to stock all the inventory. Um, when you've got, let's say a thousand people on your, your, your group or your forum and it's hard to stock everyone's size and all these different colors. And a lot of them too is the styles change, the trends change. So they don't want to be stuck with buying all this stuff and getting stuck with like a small or a medium for one. Um, not everyone wears that size. So they don't want to get stuck with that. Um, so what it is, is by you doing the print on demand, you're saving them that they're not buying stuff they don't need. And it's a win-win for both of you guys. Um, so with that being said, I'll show you guys the website, kind of glance over just simple things about it really quick. And hopefully you guys learned something. Um, it's just another way to help you guys out, help people make money that wants to make money in the screen printing vinyl stuff. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Put it in the comments. Shoot me an email. Um, if you like this, please hit the thumbs up. And if you don't mind, subscribe. Uh, my name is Robert again. Thanks again, guys. And hope this helps. Peace out. All right, guys, uh, this is the website I was telling you about. This is one of them that we I threw together for him. It's just, uh, sorry the camera doesn't show it well. It pretty much, you know, little things on it, like Bowling Green Jeep Owners Clubs, what it is. Um, about some of the stuff we didn't even put on here yet. Contact us. Um home page shop check out what we do is we've got 
like where I was telling you about the products. So you've got like window stickers, uh, decals, women's tank tops, hoodies, a few different ones. So like we'll click on the shirt and these are the ones like I was telling you where we actually have them simulated with all the colors that we offer. And so what it is is like... For instance, this one, you can click on it. It's the uh, that color. And you can see, like, we got simulated. So there's the front. There's the right sleeve. There's the back of it. And then what it is, like I said, you can go back to T-shirts again. Click on, for instance, the black one here. Black one has the gray, right sleeve, back print. So it gives you kind of an idea of what's on there. And it's running into a little hesitation right now, but here's like our women's tank top. You can click on that. Um, that one that's got a front print and a back print. You can click on the other colors. You can see what they look like. And all this stuff we just print it as they need it. And then like down here, for instance, on the tank top, you'd select the sizes that you need and the color options that you need to add that to your thing below it's got a description of the the shirt uh the style it is and more information like that and then like i said We do the other stuff too, like we do a full print and then we do a vinyl cut for the window stickers also. So on here we have a few different options. This one's like the white outline. This one is a black. This one is a gold. Actually, these ones are cut also too. We have two different ones in this group. We have this one which is a full color one because it's got the visor piece and we've got the other ones which these are just print cut also but we've got two different ones in the selection and then if you go back to the other one here's some of the other stickers that we do on this one so like here's like the bowling green jeep owner club sticker that they have and like I said, on this one too, we do the same thing. We have colors, so they can select the color, and you can kind of see the color in them. And it has a bigger picture, so they can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. And these are ones we also do. We just print and cut them. Usually um, on these ones, we'll, we'll cut it with like a 24-inch wide vinyl. So when we do get an order, we'll use the whole width, so whatever, how many it makes we'll make it with that many so that we're not wasting vinyl or having small pieces. But if you're using something like a Cricut or a Silhouette or a Cameo and you've got small scrap pieces, this is a really good thing because these stickers are only, I think, six inches or four by six. So a lot of your scrap pieces, you can make them out of them and it works out pretty good. But like I said, it's got pretty much all the colors that we will cut them in. And this is one of the little stores that I was telling you about that we do alongside with our other stuff. And by having a store like this, you can make extra money off the customers by having the things. Like I said, that has other products down below. And you can set it up however you want and kind of spend as much time as you want on the website. But like I said, this is just one of the websites that we do and we offered for them. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you don't mind, please hit the... Uh, Subscribe button or give it a thumbs up. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.